movie everyone's been talking about. Sam Milby, Tony Gonzaga, and Christine Hermosa star in Star Cinema's post-Valentine offer, My Big Love. At ang kanilang mga fans, Big Love din ang ikinakita during the movie's premiere last Tuesday night at the SM Megamall Cinema 10. With the overwhelming support everyone has shown for the movie, big happiness talaga ang nararamdaman ni na Sam, Tony, Christine, at direct Jade Castro. Uh, very, very happy that, uh, you know, people reacting. Um, and uh, it's really happy, really happy, I mean, with, with everyone and, and uh, noticing that, that parang all the hard work you put in uh, paid off. I hope that they big love. And all of the support, Tony and Sam, and to direct Jade. So thank you, thank you. I hope they enjoy all of them. I hope I'm so happy Sam Pero during the premiere night, kapansin-pansin that only Tony brought her real-life partner, Paul Soriano. While Sam's rumored girlfriend, Ann Curtis, and the two men said to be special in Christine's life, Oyo Soto and Dito Acampo were also missed during the event. Kaya naman for Christine, may isa raw siyang wish kung magsasama raw ulit silang tatlo in one movie. Sana naman may ka-partner na ako. Ayaw ko namang naiingkit na lang ako sa ano nila. Love life na lang napakasaya, diba? So, yun. Ayaw ko kung iiyak-iyak na lang dun sa gilid hapang sila happy-happy. Miss Maricel Soriano is back. Yes, guys, Florinda, her new primetime television show will soon take the country by storm. At eto ang unang season. After the very successful Patayin sa Sindak si Barbara and the much-awaited Maligno, isang suspense-filled senya serie na naman ang ating abangan for the Susan Ross's cinema collection. Ang Florinda, starring Maricel Soriano, Roxanne Ginoo, Zanjo Marudo, Nikki Hill, Cherry Pai Picache, and Jay Manalo. Dinalo ng Cinema News Alert Weekend Edition ang first taping day ng Florinda, hindi na naitago ng ibang stars ang kanilang excitement at kaba working with the Diamond Star. Ano na ko, si ano, Ate Maria, isa siya sa mga hinahangaan ko. Uh, marami ko natutunan sa kanya bilang aktres at bilang tao. Uh, yun na nga, syempre, you have to be professional with your work. Sa kanya nga namin, story ko pala, uh, yung nga sinasabi ni Miss Maricel, na pag dumadating siya sa set, mga makeup na siya, uh, alam niya na yung script niya, one take lang siya. So, parang kami mga, di ba, mga baget sa kami na yung Nikki, medyo... Florinda also marks the first team up of Roxanne Ginoo with Zanjo Marudo. At ang ating cover boy, binuking ng rumored special girl sa buhay niya when Marielle revealed na niregaluhan siya ni Zanjo ng flowers last Valentine's Day. Maganda si Marielle, kaya dapat kanya yung pinakamaganda. Special sa puso mo. Kaya nga special yung flowers pag ano, first time mo ibibigay, di ba? Para, para sweet yung dating. Tumaril sa mga talagang nakakilala sa akin. Meron siyang mga ginagawa sa akin ng kasitan na iba na hindi katulad nung ordinaryong barkada mo. Kumusta na ang pag-ibig mo kay Maria? Wala, wala nagbago sa amin dalawa. Close pa rin kami at saka, ayun, kumbaga, nagbabago, nagbabago naman siya pero mas nagiging okay. Ayun na ba talaga o ano? Ano na kami, ah, uh, baga, may rupura sa pinagpapawisan ako sa mga tanong. Ilang man siya? Na, uh, magkaibigan? Matagal na, two years na. Hindi, mag-on. Ano? Titigan ang gawin. Mauubusok ka, mauubusok tayo niyo. Ayaw pa mang umami ni Zanjo, heto naman ang makahulogang message niya for Marielle. Ano yung message ko? Uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. You're right, you're right. Wow, exciting yan para sa mga drama lovers. Meanwhile, she is yet to shock again. It is Gretchen. Ngayon naman she goes daring for her music video for her album under Star Records. Guys, feast your eyes on this. After the release of her album, Unexpected, Gretchen Barreto carries on with her goal na maging isang certified recording artist, especially now that she is ready with her first music video. And she takes us with her first shooting day of her music video for her carrier single, Please Don't Ask Me. Please Don't Ask Me, ang sinushoot namin ngayon. It's our first shooting day. Um, exciting dahil... Um, Parang sinushoot namin tong music video na parang commercial. May monitor kami, nakikita namin yung resulta kaagad. So parang excited ako sa paggawa. 
kasi nakikita mo na kaagad na, oh my God, ang ganda-ganda. Just like her coming up with an album, unexpected din daw ang mapapanood natin sa music video. As Gretchen again showcases her sexy side by wearing sexy lingerie and acting out sensual scenes opposite her leading men, Zanjo Barudo and John Avila. Pagkulat kayo, um, ibang Gretchen na naman ito. Um, marami kayong maaasahan dito sa music video. Para siyang, para siyang ano, yung mga imported na, ano, di ba? Yung mga music video, mga foreign music video. Compared with her comeback movie na napabalitang marami raw siyang biniling movie tickets para ipamigay sa kanyang friends, this time ibang senaryo daw ang kanyang album dahil mismong close friends niya aminado daw na supportive fans niya. Lalo kong excited dahil hindi ko kailangan bumili ng maraming pero yung sa ibang friends, parang you have to really go out and buy. Yun ang ginawa ko. Dahil syempre gusto ko rin malaman kung paano ba talaga ang sales. Diba? With or without me, Bunny. Nagulat ako dahil lahat ng mga bumibili ng CD, gusto, even yung mga close friends, parang gusto nila nang may firma kahit kilala naman nila ako. Maraming nag-react, natuwa at naaliw sa mga bago naming segments na nilaunch namin last week. Kaya huwag kayong bibitaw sa mga hot, hot, hot naming segments na Blind Turn and Hot Nuts. Pero before we pause for a break, let's take a peek again on what happened in the recently concluded Oscar Awards na muntik pang hindi matuloy. Watch this. Tinseltown's best and finest troupe down to the Kodak Theater last February 24 for the 80th Annual Academy Awards. And as grabbed up the stars were, the competition proved to be fierce all night long for all the nominees. Emerging victorious is the dark horse No Country for Old Men, which brought home four Oscars, namely the Best Motion Picture of the Year, Best Adopted Screenplay, Best Director, and Best Actor in Supporting Role for Javier Bardem. The Born Ultimatum is not far behind with three trophies, proving its technical prowess by winning the best in film editing, sound editing, and sound mixing. While There Will Be Blood got two trophies with best cinematography and its lead Daniel Day-Lewis who got the best actor in a leading role award. But what surprised Hollywood and the world was when foreigners brought home four of the major awards. Aside from Daniel Day-Lewis and Javier Bardem, Frances Marion Cotillard stole the Best Actress in a Leading Role award for her non-English performance in La Vie en Rose, the first one since 1962. With initial fears of actors not daring to cross the striking writer's picket line, all in all, the much-awaited Oscar sailed smoothly and again, stars came down from the sky.